My name is Crypto Dog to the rescue. Please smash the like button, hit the bell, comment below. It all helps my channel and the dogs I'll be rescuing in the future, which is why I've opened up this channel in the first place uh, to help everybody out in their trading of cryptocurrency and um, to uh, anything that obviously um, I make off of this, I will be um, starting a dog sanctuary with. So all the funds go to the dogs. Uh, I did want to touch on the uh, trading techniques, trading styles. Uh, there's a difference between investing and trading. And when you're an active trader, you know, I've been going over the 20 MA and the 200 MA um, in my last uh, few videos. Um, and I just wanted to reiterate and show everybody how this works and what the game plan is when you are trading cryptocurrency whether it be on a day market, a swing, or a core trade. Now, when you're macro trading, you're obviously investing. It's more of an investment um, for a long-term investment as opposed to a macro trade. I mean, it is considered a trade, but um, you know, kind of realize that it's a really fine line between trade and investing uh, when you're going over a year annually. Um, so again, you always want to have a plan, no matter if you're investing or trading, whether you're investing for one to three to five years to 10 years, or if you are trading on a, again, day swing or core trade. Um, so that's what we're gonna get into this uh, and, and how the casino leverages the probability into their favor, just slightly. And it's not a huge leverage. It is a, it is a slight leverage, which gives them, um, you know, even on a day run or a week run or a month run, doesn't matter, they come out with profits. And that's how we are going, or how I'm going to show you how a good technique of trading to bring up your probabilities from 50-50, okay, because that's what everybody says. When you look at technical analysis, you're only looking at a 50-50 because no one can show you the future and, no, and it only shows you the past. Um, and, I, and I've been watching a lot of YouTubers and it kind of gets me a little irked when I see these people and they have, you know, 7,000, 8,000 subscribers plus and it's growing. And the first thing that they tell everybody is I don't use technical analysis. And, and, and they're sitting in front of their trailer park home. It, it's weird to me that you know, I'm not you know, trying to, to you know, hurt anybody's feelings, but if you're gonna give people advice, you know, show that you do have some sort of, of, of back to it saying that you have won a little bit. You know, I'm not saying I, I'm making huge profits this year. No one is, but to, say, but to be ballsy enough to say that you don't ever use technical analysis because it's only 50-50 is basically saying you haven't learned how any type of market works and how you can work it yourself. So we're going to get into that uh, on this. So uh, you know, let's get right into it. So, all right, uh, let's let this load up a second and we'll get into here. So the casino advantage, okay? You know, when we're looking at roulette here, all right, they have a statistical edge, okay? They have, they've rigged the game to a certain percentage. You know, let's, let's just take roulette in, in for example here because it's, you know, everybody, um, I, even when I used to play it when I was a younger man, I thought I had more of a 50-50 chance when you're uh, betting on black, betting on red, or betting on, a, you know, on a number and color. Um, but no, uh, what happens in, in the roulette is there's 18 red, 18 black, and two green. So there, the two green basically gives them that statistical edge on there. The players have an 18 out of 38 chance of winning. That equals 47.3% chance. It's not a 50-50 chance of winning when you go to the casino, ever. Casino has 20 to 38 chance of winning, which gives them that statistical edge, 52.7% which basically is a 5.4% edge over the players. Now, a lot of people say that's not even that much, that much edge. Um, but when you start looking at it from a different, from the way they look at things, obviously, the st statistical advantage is if there's a million dollar in bets, their average profit for all those million dollar bets, whether, you know, on a statistical level, is $54,000 in profits average, okay? That's just an average look. Now, another way to look at it is if you have a thousand bets and that's a times a thousand per each bet, that's equals a million dollars as well. The casino has a 52.7% chance of winning out of those thousand bets, 
which makes 527 bets altogether. Players have 47.3%, which makes 473 bets. Therefore, times 1,000, 527,000 minus 473,000 for the players winning, that's an average of $54,000 in profits. That's the casino edge. So what we have to do is make a game plan and try to replicate the model of the casino as best as we can um, using the, the technical analysis that day traders, swing traders, and core traders use successfully. So you know, a good example is if you had a 60% win advantage over a 40% loss advantage, your edge is 20%. So in the long run, you know, let's just say even 55% or 45%, it seems to be more, I guess, on par with most uh, technical analysis, you have a 10% statistical analysis, 10%. So the plan is, is the risk return ratio, okay? One to two loss. So if you have a stop loss of a dollar, say you buy it for 10, but you put a stop loss in there for $9, and your plan is you wanna make at least 12, or up you know, $2 on there, so the stock has to, or the coin has to go up to $12, you now have a one to two ratio, risk return ratio on there. Uh, you can do it, you know, two dollars under your buy point and four dollars over, you know, so you make four dollars every time. So with that statistical edge that we can apply to, to any market, coin market, stock market, it all works. And I've, I've checked this and I'm working using it myself and it works great. So example, if you have 100 trades, you have 40 losses, which you put a stop point at one dollar and you have 60 wins, which is always two dollars. Or even a 50-50, if you're, you're thinking, okay, if, if, if you think technical analysis is actually 50-50, your stop-loss risk-return ratio here is going to be the best thing for you. So 50 losses, 50 bucks, 50 wins, 100 bucks, correct? So, right, so 40 losses, you make 40, you know, you lose 40. 50 losses, you lose 50. 60 wins, you make 120 off that $2. So that's an $80 difference between those two, 50 and 100. $50 difference, so you're always going to be in the green as long as you stick to this plan. It's, it's very, very easy to show you, but let's try to put it in a little bit of um, action here after this. So um, use the 20 and the 200 MA for support and resistance on the uptrend, downtrend, and sideways market. Go with the 20 MA trend. So an uptrend, you really just want to buy when it's on an uptrend. You just want to think about buying. And a downtrend, you just want to think about selling, okay? That just simple as that. It's, I mean, it takes away the guess, the 20 MA and the 200. Sideways, buy under the 20, under, sell over the 20, and you'll always make a gain. Now, it's does that, the statistically, does it always work using the 20 MA as a, you go with the up 20 MA trend? Not always working. But I would say 75 to 85 percent of your of your losses. I would even start with 60. Um, you'll have a 60 percent probability of winning over losing, minimum, and it can go all the way up to 85 percent with a couple little tweaks and you know, using the 20 MA. So let's look at a couple examples here. So this is Bitcoin um, yesterday, and uh, as you can see, with the red is the 20, blue is the 200. You can see that it's on an upward trend here. Okay, arrow up, red, blue is on an upward trend. That is a power move. It's a power play. Okay, and when it finally relieved itself right here, it started going on a downswing and everything's underneath. So this is where you want to start thinking of just selling. Think of just buying. Think of just selling. Right? You don't want to buy up here. You want to buy, obviously, close to the 20 MA before these big pump ups. So you're buying on the way up and then you're selling right when it starts on the way down. So between here, this point right here and somewhere in here where you bought in, you have a win of this from here to there. It's, it's as simple as that. So you're not going to be looking for the highest, highest point. You're looking for the best bet that you're going to make money. And that's really what it's all about. So again, another uptrend coming. So you would probably want to buy somewhere in, in between here, somewhere in here, you know, when it corrects itself. So it's gone up, it's corrected itself, it turned green and boom. So you may want to buy it here and, you know, even here. It, it's gone up, it's corrected itself and boom, it's, it's turned green right there. So 
Um, there's, there's things that will help you add to your probability of wins by figuring out, you know, if it turns green, the next one, it's starting to get away from the 20 MA, it's going to cause a, a big boom based on even the 20 MA is on its way up. It's a gradual up, but it's on its way up. So it's showing you that there's a power play move. There's a power move still on its way up, still on its way up, hits the support, turns green. Everybody's starting to, you know, wonder whether it's going to do something, turns green, gets away from the 20 MA and boom, it just starts going up based on the direction of, of the of the 20 MA and the 200 MA. It's really, really easy to see. If you're going to buy it down here and you're by the red and it's on an upswing, right? And then you sell it off when it's up here, you made money between this point and that point. It's simple as that. So it's it works that way on an uptrend, right? So it looks to look at the downtrend. So of course, 200 MA, the 20 MA is now underneath the 200 MA and everything is going on a downtrend. Right when the downtrend starts, I mean, these, I mean, this is how volatile the market is. This is Bitcoin on uh, the eighth. As soon as the down, I mean, it's waiting. Everybody's just kind of waiting here and finally, you know, wondering what's going to happen because the 200 and the 20 are kind of sticking right by each other. Once the 20 MA starts going away from the 200 and the downtrend starts the whole downtrend and boom, everybody just sells off. I mean, it just, it just goes, it starts to correct back to the 20. It didn't turn green above the 20 to start going back up. And obviously the trend is still going down. So you only want to think of selling it. You don't want to buy unless you think, unless you know it's going to keep going down or you really believe that this is, a, and it is a power move when both of them are going the same way. Um, if, if you really believe that that is what's going on, um, then you want to buy, uh, I'm sorry, you want to sell here, right? No, you want to sell here. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, and then you want to wait and then you want to buy it up here when it starts to upswing again because it, it can't stay away that far away from the 200 for very long before it has to start correcting back to it. Uh, give it a few hours, you know, and then it'll have to come back over to it. This is Bitcoin. Um, and this method works for any, any coin, um, any chart, whether you're doing a minute chart, which is what we're looking at. Uh, three minute chart, five minute chart, um, core trading, swing trading, hour charts, four hours. It doesn't matter. It all works the same with 20 and 200. This is a trade secret that day traders don't like anybody else to know because this is what where they make their money. And the less people know um, about these type of triggers and using the 20 and the 200 MA and simplifying your trading as much as possible. OK, it takes away from their profits, obviously. They'll still profit but just less, you know, obviously. So uh, that's the downtrend market. So on a sideways market, as you can see, I don't know if you can actually see that or not. It's kind of small in this little picture, but I'll show you in a different one. But basically, if you can see this, the red and the blue, the blue's going kind of sideways and the red is kind of sticking in this area here and nothing volatile or anything dramatically happened violently. So you want to play the red, basically. Buy it under the red, sell it over the red. And, you know, and if it's on a downtrend, it at this point, that's when you buy it. You buy it on the downtrend on a sound on a sideways market, and then buy it on the uptrend. Buy it on the downtrend, sell it on the uptrend. So it's different when you're playing the sideways market as opposed to an uptrend market and a downtrend market. There's differences. It's only one technique, but you have to adjust for which way the market is moving. Um, and of course, again, I'm just, just kind of zooming in so you guys can actually see a little bit more. Um, the red, obviously, is your 20 and your 200. It is over and then it took a dramatic boom, right? So if you feel that it's going to be going sideways, that you see that it's going sideways, um, at least for a small portion of time, you can then work it the way you feel the market's work, you know, the trend's working. So if it's sideways, buy it under the red, sell it over the red. Buy it under the red, sell it over the red. Buy it under the red, sell it over the red. So there's, you know, again, there's there's certain ways to do it. Now that the tri tricky one that people tend to see, and I see this a lot, is when the 200 MA is on a, a different direction than the 20 MA or vice versa, right? What do you do? Okay, always go back to the red 20 MA. You always follow the 20 MA. If that's on an uptrend, you only want to buy. 
If it's down a downtrend, you only want to think of selling. Okay, so that's where the difference is of whether it's going sideways, up, down, trend, and this little confusion right here of where it's going to go. Which way is it going to go? It's going to go down with the 22, uh, the 200 MA, or is it going to go gradually up with the 20 MA? Always follow the 20 MA. That's my um, that's my little opinion for you guys. And again, this is all opinion, so you know, take it with a grain of salt. Please do your own financial research and make your own uh, informed, knowledgeable decisions. But I'm trying to give you the knowledge and information so you guys can actually go and check it yourself. I mean, I watch the markets for two to three hours, you know, every other day, just to make sure that what I'm saying and what I'm looking at um, and how day trades work on the crypto market is analogous in that way to the stock market or any other exchange out there and it absolutely is so that's where you know my little powerpoint comes into play here but uh, let, let me show you some things um, on coinage here so ethereum to usdt okay i just picked this because you know i like kucoin and i have ethereum and i believe ethereum is probably going to be the one i'm going to be a day trading myself personally and not have my bot trading it um, which i turned that over to sma gains as well um, and it's working great for me at this point, my bot is. But I'm going to get really, really intimate with my Ethereum. But I just kind of chose it out of the blue. Ethereum USDT. And let's just let's see how this works um, on a on this market. So as you can see, it's the 200 is kind of going sideways right now, as opposed to really the whole thing. It really is just going sideways right now. Right. So with a sideways market, what do we do? We buy under the red. We sell over the red. All right. And that's really what I'm looking for is you Wait till it brings it up. I'm going to zoom in here a lot. So it's it's dropped underneath. It hit the 20 MA, turned red right on the 20 MA, made a big bar, and it made kind of a sell point there. So everybody's just thinking about selling. Sell, 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 sell. Now, professionals know when to start kind of get in right here, but let's take the guesswork out of it and you know, not having to figure out every single candle and what the language is on it. And we'll go off of major points. And the 20 MA is a major point, and the 200 MA is an overall controller support resistance. So 20 MA turned green, right? Next one turned green. And I mean, every it's going sideways. So, you know, really, what do you do? You want to, so since it's going sideways, you buy it underneath the red. Then you start seeing it go over the red and starting to have resistance. Well, you might want to sell it so you can make some quick profits. That's a $2 profit right there, a one to two ratio. Buy it here at 223, put a 222 stop there somewhere, and then 224 happens, you sell it off. That's a one to two ratio on there on a sideways market. You always will win if, if you buy it underneath the red and you sell it over the red. You'll always have that and you, you leave, stick to the plan of one to two risk return ratio your losses, you'll have way more wins than losses. It's really kind of simple as that when it comes down to it. And this is Bitcoin, and I'm just going to show you the 20 MA here um, and just kind of show you that if you don't even want to play an uptrend, a downtrend, um, or anything of the sort, okay, this this is another way of kind of, of, of looking at things um, if you're looking at it. So this is a five-minute chart. Let's go into... Um, you know what? Let's go back into Ethereum so I can kind of show you that. And this is an hour chart, right? So let's go back into a five-minute chart. That's an hour. That's a swing trade right there. Um, I'll go back to it real quick. That is a swing trade. So you're not looking at it all every two minutes, but you're looking at it on a daily basis. So this is an hour chart um, on a weekly basis. And basically, if I was willing to buy right here on this red because I see that it's going on an uptrend, um, and it's ready to buy on the MACD and the RSI is on its way up. So uh, that's telling me that it's ready to buy. So I'll buy it there, right? Um, and then I'll just kind of wait until I feel like it's staving off. The MACD is showing me that it's getting close. I've made well more than enough in my one to two ratio and I'm going to sell out is when I think that there's going to be a difference. So this is where, you know, I'm, I haven't touched on this really much, but the MACD and the RSI is accentuating what you're thinking about with the 20 MA and the 200 MA in play. Accentuations, okay? It's just kind of give, it's raising your probabilities of wins up. If you can stick and be disciplined in your trading, you can absolutely see where things start getting resistant 
and need to relieve themselves back to the 20 MA and then and 200 MA, so on and so forth. So uh, it doesn't matter, again, doesn't matter what you're using, whether it be a five minute chart or an hour chart, Bitcoin, USD, it doesn't matter. It just depends on how fast you wanna trade. So on this swing, core swing trade, uh, Bitcoin, USD, it popped up over, right? Let's say it, it popped up over here and all of a sudden you, you got in. You, you've now, you open up your computer and you're ready to go. It's eight o'clock in the morning, um, Hong Kong time. And right here at eight o'clock, hourly chart, it starts correcting back down. You've seen that it's gone over the 20 MA and now it's starting to correct back down to the 20 MA. Now it's gone back to the 20 MA, turned green, this one turns green and then boom, starts taking, it, it starts going back up. Buy point, okay, buy point. You can take it all the way up to here, wherever you feel. Remember you have a risk return ratio uh, plan, so wherever you put it, you wanna put it down to at least you know $1 or $2 or $4 down, and then times that by two and you wanna have an $8 win. So $4 risk for an $8 win. Um, and it's, as long as you do that, $1 risk for a $2 win. And that is going to stave off a lot of your losses, bring your probability up to 75, 85% using that green bar, okay? Just on using the 20 MA, you don't even have to use the 200 MA. Um, but you know, really you do wanna look for these uptrends and downtrends in sideways markets regardless. And that's where the, the 200 MA helps you find those sideways markets and uptrends, power plays, so on and so forth. So it's, it is an overall controller the 200 MA. And that's why I love uh, about this technical analysis that, you know, when you start listening to people on the news and all the articles that everybody reads and how, what's gonna happen with this coin and so on and so forth, anybody can lie to you. A journalist can lie to you. I mean, even someone that's in the actual business or the coin or the project, they can lie to you as well to, to help them off or at least uh, confuse you enough with wording that you don't know whether it's a positive thing they're saying or what's a negative, but you, everyone's hopeful. Um, so, uh, you know, take it with a grain of salt when people are saying things in the news. And this is why when you look back on technical analysis, you can look at it from a macro point of view and go, well, well I don't understand what you're talking about in the news when technical analysis shows you different. So that's the power of technical analysis. My percentage of technical analysis as opposed to fundamental analysis and um, a sentiment analysis has gone way up. Uh, just based on the 20 MA and the 200 MA, um, and I've proven it through my bot, and I'm mock trading at this point right now uh, with my Ethereum, and it is working out great. I, am, I, am I losing? Yeah, it doesn't always happen the way we think it's going to happen. You know, it turns red underneath you know, the 20 MA, it goes down a little bit, and then boom, it starts popping. That's how volatile the cryptocurrency market is. But again, this will stave off 75 to 85% of your losses will, will just disappear. They'll just be gone. You, they'll turn into, into wins um, instead of losses. So will you still lose a little bit? Absolutely. But as long as you have that statistical edge, it doesn't matter if you have a 50-50 win-loss ratio, your risk-return ratio is what really, really uh, makes, sure, uh, makes trades uh, profitable and, and possible on a daily, weekly, monthly basis. Uh, so last but not least, Crypto Fear and Greed Index. Fear is 31, Extreme was last month 14, yesterday was 26, so we got up a little bit uh, when it comes to it, but it just seems to uh, just seems to not uh, wanna go up. Everybody's waiting for the cyclical boom for retail, and you know, it's already October, so we shall see if that happens or not. So my name is Crypto Dog to the rescue, Please like, subscribe, hit the bell, comment below, and I'll host my channel and the dogs I'll be rescuing in the future. Uh, again, I'm going to be opening up a dog sanctuary um, to uh, and have cryptocurrency mining sustain the project. That's really the main uh, uh, goal here is to start that. And I'm going to be doing a crowdfunding on uh, this platform, Start Some Good. And uh, this is basically what I'm looking for here. Dog sanctuary, cryptocurrency mining to sustain the operations. I'm gonna be using shipping containers for uh, housing for the dogs and whatever other facilities we need, we're gonna be using shipping containers for it.
and I'm going to be going up uh, in the northern region of my state uh, in the U.S., where it's much, it's it's beautiful in the summertime, um, and it's it's cooler in the wintertime, and the crypto mining will keep everything kind of warm. That'll help off stave off costs and uh, keep things warming up and profitable. So, uh, you know, again, uh, please smash the like button, hit the bell, comment below. It all helps my channel and uh, the dogs I'll be rescuing in the future. You guys keep up the grind.